The threshold control turns the TM-808 on and off, and adjusts the volume of the background hum, or as it's commonly called, the threshold. Turning the threshold control clockwise, the power is turned on. Upon power up, there's an automatic battery check displayed on the meter. For the TM-808 to operate properly, the battery test must indicate in the upper yellow highlighted area of the meter. In average temperatures, new batteries will provide approximately 12 hours of continuous use. In cold climates, battery life will be reduced. The threshold control must be adjusted for a slight background sound or threshold that is heard continuously during searching. A setting in the normal area will usually be appropriate. Generally, the lower the threshold can be set while still hearing a slight hum, the better. The threshold may fade over changing ground, indicating the push button on the handle needs to be squeezed and released, which will return or reset the threshold hum. This resetting may be needed at regular intervals unless automatic threshold is on auto, which automatically maintains threshold. We'll discuss the push button and auto functions in a moment. The signal balance control adjusts the receive signal of the detector. The normal position works well for most searching situations. This setting will provide more than adequate performance with little interference from electrical sources. If interference from extreme ground minerals or electrical sources cause erratic behavior or produces difficulties in setting the ground balance control, the signal balance control should be set further towards the minus setting. If little interference is experienced and ground balancing can easily be achieved, the signal balance control may be set slightly further clockwise towards the plus setting. Caution should be used when increasing the signal balance beyond normal. If the detector operates erratically due to a setting too far to the positive, the response from deeper targets will be obscured. Additionally, if the ground balance cannot be set correctly, the signal balance is overloading the detector's receive signal and will reduce detection depth. The optimum setting is one which gives smooth operation, allowing deep targets to be heard clearly, and ground balance is achieved with a reasonable degree of effort. If the instrument's performance seems temperamental or unstable, a signal balance setting slightly towards the minus should be selected. For the best results, the ground balance control needs to be adjusted each time the detector is used. The normal setting works well for most conditions. Ground balance is adjusted to cancel out or ignore common mineralization in the ground, thus allowing the deepest available penetration. A setting clockwise towards plus is used for higher mineralization and a setting counterclockwise towards the minus would be sufficient for low mineralized soils. We'll talk more about adjusting this control when we demonstrate proper tuning. When ground balance is set properly, little or no change in threshold hum is noted as the detector is lifted slightly up or down in relationship to the ground. It should also be noted that the automatic threshold should be set in the no auto position while the ground balance control is being adjusted. The ground balance control and the signal balance control work hand in hand to tune out undesired responses and provide the best detection depth. The automatic threshold control is used to activate or disable the automated threshold resetting feature. This feature offers automatic threshold maintenance. When auto is used, it allows the threshold hum of the detector to remain smooth or constant regardless of small changes in the ground mineralization or upward and downward drift of the electronic signal. When no auto is used, changes in threshold which are normal for such instruments require manual resetting, that is, the squeezing and releasing of the push button on the handle. The detector must be kept in motion when using the auto position. Standing still over the target will cause the target signal to fade away. Unlike many metal detectors, the TM-808 can be walked quickly, covering significant ground. In the no auto position, automatic threshold is not functioning. Use this position when adjusting the ground reject control to compensate for the ground. It can be used as a searching mode if the ground mineralization does not change rapidly and there isn't external interference from radio signals, etc. In the no-auto position, 
The detector does not have to be kept in motion when passing over the target. You can stand over the target without the target signal fading away. It can be valuable to help pinpoint the center of a deep target. When using this no auto position, it will be necessary to press and release the reset button at the end of the handle at regular intervals to keep the threshold hum constant and free from upward or downward drift. If the threshold sound gradually increases or decreases while searching, press and release the button to return the detector to the normal threshold hum. This requires skill and experience. Most users should operate in auto until some field experience is gained. The push button is located at the tip of the carrying handle. It's used in the no auto position to reset the threshold hum when it drifts up or down. It does the job manually that the auto position does automatically. Also used during pinpointing, when the push button is pressed and released with the detector over a target, the signal will be reduced in intensity and magnitude, aiding in locating the target's center. As will be described later, the push button is also used to reset the threshold during ground reject tuning. When pressing and releasing the push button, do so slowly. Depress, hold for a second, and then release for the best results. The speaker is automatically turned off when headphones are plugged in. Maximum detection depth and longest battery life are achieved through the use of headphones. Most quarter-inch standard 8 to 100 ohm headphones will function correctly with this model. This is a stereo jack, thus stereo headphones, or those with a stereo switch, are necessary in order to hear the signal in both ear cups. To effectively search for targets, your TM-808 must be properly tuned for the area you're searching in. It's how your detector can discriminate between mineralization of the ground and potential targets. First, set the signal balance and ground balance to their normal positions. Set the automatic threshold to the auto position. Now, turn the threshold clockwise and check the meter to determine the condition of the battery pack. The threshold control at this point needs to be readjusted for a very faint hum. The detector will now operate well in most locations with the controls at this setting. However, for optimum performance and penetration depth, fine-tuning of the ground balance and signal balance controls are necessary. Set the automatic threshold control to the no auto position. Now at this point you need to be staying away from all metallic objects, cars, pipes, concrete rebar and the like. Also, remove significant metal from your body such as belt buckles, car keys and watches. Hold the instrument at arm's length at your side as if you were holding a suitcase. Press the push button on the handle, hold for a second and release. The threshold tone will be heard raise the instrument approximately six inches further above the ground. If the threshold hum changes little or not at all, the initial ground reject control setting normal is adequate for searching in that particular area. Switch the automatic threshold control to the auto position and proceed to search. However, if the threshold hum does change as the instrument is lifted, Leave the automatic threshold control in the no auto position and proceed to adjust to the ground in the following manner. If the threshold level decreased or faded when the instrument was lifted, turn the ground balance control slightly counterclockwise towards minus. Lower the unit back to arm's length, press and release the push button control, and again, raise the instrument about six inches further above the ground while listening to the threshold hum. If the threshold still decreases or fades, then repeat this procedure until the threshold level remains about the same as the instrument is raised about six inches further above the ground. If the threshold level increases or beeps when the instrument is lifted, then adjust the ground balance control slightly clockwise towards the plus. Lower the unit back to arm's length, press and release the push button control, and again, Lift the instrument about six inches, listening for any change in the threshold hum. This process needs to be repeated until the threshold level changes little or not at all as the instrument is raised about six inches further above the ground. Remember to press, 
Hold for a second and release the push button on the handle after each adjustment is made to the ground balance control while the detector is held at arm's length like a suitcase. Determine whether the sound increases or decreases when the detector is raised about 6 inches further above the ground and make the appropriate ground balance correction. Lower the loop and press and release the push button. Continue with this procedure until there is little or no change in threshold when the detector is lifted. The ground balance procedure becomes critical as the signal balance control is turned towards the plus. The signal balance control need not be set past the normal range for most searching. If ground balance cannot be accomplished, then try moving to a different location as you may be over a buried metal object. If trouble persists, turn the signal balance control slightly counterclockwise towards minus and try again. The greatest detection depth will be achieved by a signal balance setting suited for the conditions indicated by smooth stable operation and the ability to set the ground balance control. If ground balance is appropriate at normal, or if finding the correct ground balance setting is relatively easy, you may want to turn the signal balance control slightly clockwise towards the plus and repeat the ground balancing steps. This assures the best signal balance setting for the conditions, thus the greatest detection depth. The automatic threshold should be returned to the auto position once ground balance is completed.